guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey I'm Ashley so first off today we're doing crock pot blueberry French toast and I will leave all of the exact measurements and recipes in the description box below for all of the recipes in this video but basically what I'm going to do here is make a butter and brown sugar paste to go onto my bread and then I will layer my ingredients with an egg mixture poured over the top. So the type of bread I'm using here is a French loaf, but you can use any type of bread that you would like. I really like brioche bread with my French toast personally. Okay, so to begin layering, you're just going to put your brown sugar paste on the bottom of your crock pot, and you're not going to want to do what I did here and forget your cooking spray. Truly, that is one of the most important steps to this because my crock pot, I had just deep cleaned it and it was destroyed after this. But anyway, so what you're gonna wanna do after you put the first layer on the bottom is put a layer of bread in, put another layer of the brown um, sugar paste on top of that, layer your blueberries on top of that, and then more bread and more paste on top before you put your egg mixture over the top of everything. And you're just going to want to make sure that you push your bread down into the mixture so that it's fully saturated and you will refrigerate this overnight and it's all prepped for you in the morning to just chuck into the crock pot and breakfast is all set. And this turned out amazing, you guys. This is definitely something I will be making again in the future, possibly for our Christmas morning this year. And I think this would be really delicious with a crumb topping over the top as well. Okay guys, so next up here we have our million dollar bacon. This is the easiest recipe ever. All you're literally going to do is mix together a quarter cup of brown sugar with one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a little bit of black pepper as well. I went light on the black pepper just because my daughter doesn't really care for it. And at the end, we're just going to drizzle two tablespoons of maple syrup over the top. And you're going to want to bake this on 350 for about 20 minutes and you'll flip it and then bake it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And this 
this comes out so good it was so addicting though but I highly recommend that you trying this if you haven't tried it before the flavors just go together so well with the bacon Okay, and last up here today, we're gonna be making sheet pan pancakes with a homemade blueberry maple syrup. And I will link the recipe that I used down below, but I split it in half because I was making it for my family, not for a large group. So I did one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, I also added in about a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a quarter cups of milk, and I used oat milk, one large egg, and four tablespoons of salted butter, so I left out the salt in this recipe as well. And then you're just going to spray the bottom of your sheet pan, pour your batter in, and spread it out evenly, and you will bake this on 425 degrees for about 15 minutes or so. While my pancakes are baking, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my blueberry maple syrup ready. And I will leave the recipe down below, but I also cut this recipe in half, so I used a half a cup of maple syrup and about a half cup of blueberries. And I did not add any fresh lemon juice into this at all. like this for Christmas morning was because I figured the kiddos could use cookie cutters to cut out um, different shapes for their pancakes and decorate them if they wanted to as well. But otherwise these can be cut into squares and they're perfect for serving large groups of people. I need to say this after you just watched me do that but these were absolutely amazing that blueberry maple syrup is absolutely delicious it is so good that I can't even put it into words for you guys you have to try this So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these recipes and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Also be sure to check out the link in my description box below for an entire what's for breakfast playlist. This video was in collaboration with some other really talented ladies here on YouTube.